chef, magturo ka naman ng dessert na napakadaling gawin pero hindi kailangan i-bake at hindi namin kailangan magpaka-stress sa kusina. O syempre nga naman, di ba? Because sometimes we want our family and friends and even our customers to feel like parang nagmamagic tayo sa kusina pero tayo ay hindi masyadong nasustress because we will be using easy, no-bake recipes na pag tinignan mo, pang 5 star. So this is no-bake chocolate mousse with almond brittle. O di ba ang social pakinggan? Kasi alam ko, pag plain na chocolate mousse lang, sasabihin nyo ay, ang dali naman yan. So lagyan natin ng konting element na magbibigay ng texture, color, and height in a different dessert experience sa iyong chocolate mousse. So let's start with the almond brittle. O di ba? Ang sarap banggit-banggit ulit. A chocolate mousse with almond brittle. So, in a stainless pan, maglagay ka ng sugar. So, you're going to make a caramel. When you say caramel, sinusundog mo po talaga yung asukal. So, wag kang matakot. No? Pag nakita mong medyo umuusok-usok yan at parang nagko-concert ka dahil yung kusina mo ay magiging cloudy. So, this is my sugar and then I'm heating it over high, medium to medium high flame or pwede din pinakamalakas na apoy basta babantayan mong mabuti and then I have here almonds nako, eh ang mahal naman po ng almonds chef, o di pwedeng kasoy cashew brittle pwede po bang peanut, o di peanut brittle o di ba pwede pwede so first, you cook the sugar here over high flame hanggang matunaw at magkaramelize. Maging parang copper in color. Golden copper in color. So, maaamoy mo yan na parang, parang medyo may nasusunog na amoy. That's very normal because again, as mentioned, the meaning of caramel is sugar na niluluto mo until almost burnt. Ito naman yung almost burnt na masarap. Okay? So, makikita mo, nauuna yung labas, nauunang uh, mag-melt yung labas. As a general rule, wag mong haluin masyado yung caramel mo. So, what you can do is, pwede mo lang siyang iswirl-swirl na ganyan to even out the cooking. Okay? So, pwede ka din gumamit ng pistachio, walnuts, macadamia. Eh, paano po yan? Allergic po kami sa nuts, chef. Ano po ba ibang pwedeng alternative na medyo affordable? Sesame seeds. Actually, masarap din po ang sesame seeds. Okay? So, you swirl it. Ganyan lang po. Para naman pong andali pag kayo po yung gumagawa. Pero pag kami po, mabilis pong masunog. Tiwala lang. The secret is tiwala. Diba? To a successful caramel, to a successful relationship, tiwala lang. Okay? So yan, nakikita mo, diba? To even it out, is swirl, swirl mo. You see the color? Parang magic. Biglang nagpalit. Just a uh, warning. Napakainit po nito. So, wag na wag mong hahawakan. wag na wag mong titikman at this point kasi masasaktan ka talaga dyan dahil napakainit po niyan because sugar is a conductor of heat eh chef paano po ba namin pwedeng gawing medyo mas kakaiba yan lagyan mo ng konting salt para parang salted almond brittle so yan pag natunaw na lahat siya may, may salt ako lagay ko na dun sa almond pag natunaw na siya you see and then the color has turned into a caramel Parang copper color. Turn off the flame or the heat and then you put the almonds. Be very, very careful because again, this is very, very hot. Itos mo yung almond. O yan, nagko-concert na tayo dito. Umuusok-usok na, may concert. So you just mix it like that. Ayaw ko na po gumawa ng chocolate mousse. Ibobote ko na lang po yan, chef. Kasi ang layo po ng bagyo, so magtitinda na lang ako ng peanut, peanut brittle sa subdivision namin. Go! O, di ba? So, pag natapos mo yan, na-coat mo na ng caramel yung iyong 
almonds or kung anong maniman ang ginagamit mo. Lagyan mo ng sesame seeds or kung anong seeds man. No? So, very hot to while it's hot. No? While it's hot. But you have to be careful. Ilagay mo yan dito sa iyong parchment paper. Be very, 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 very careful because it's super hot. And then using a rolling pin, i-flatten mo lang. Ganyan po ang itsura niya. No? Pero pagka tumigas yan, pag natuyo na yung caramel or nag-set, tsaka mo ma-easily remove yung parchment. That's it. So this one, I'm going to put on a cooling rack. Lalagay mo sa cooling rack para mas mabilis siyang lumamig hanggat hindi po malamig. Huwag ka po mag a na titikman mo dahil napakainit po niyan. Mapapasukan. Let's put it on a cooling rack. Let's wait for it to cool down and then we will prepare the chocolate mousse next. So now we prepare the chocolate mousse. So to make it extra special, naglalagay ako ng konting orange zest. So one piece of orange, gayatin mo lang yung labas ng pino and then you have your orange zest. Para lang may konting kick, di ba? Yung chocolate is hindi nakakaumay kasi may ibang element tayong nilalagay. So I have here all-purpose cream. I'm going to put the all-purpose cream into a mixer, mixer with a wire whisk attachment. Pwede kang gumamit ng hand mixer. No problem. The all-purpose cream, by the way, is cold. I'm going to put powdered sugar, cocoa powder, and the orange zest. I'm going to beat this until smooth. Napakadali po nitong chocolate mousse recipe na to. Literally easy. Okay, so I'm beating it until it's smooth and medyo maging fluffy yung ating cream, cold cream. It's important that it's cold, so if you're buying all-purpose cream on the Tetra Pak, i-refrigerate mo siya overnight before using it. Wala pong all-purpose cream sa amin, chef. You use whipping cream or thickened cream, no problem. Heavy cream, you can also use heavy cream. So, medium-high speed or in a hand mixer, you just beat it like that. Huwag mong ilalagay sa super high speed, sa highest speed. Kasi mabilis babagsak yan pag kami nadali mo. So, you just keep it on medium speed, in a hand mixer, medium speed, and konting pasensya lang. Pag naging medyo parang melted ice cream na yung consistency, no, makikita mo, ayan, lumalapot na siya, oh. Ibig sabihin, yung hangin na pinapasok mo dun sa cream, na hold na. Pwede ka na maglagay ng chocolate, pa konti konti This is melted chocolate. Mainit po yung melted chocolate, no problem. As long as the cream is cool or cold, you will not have any problem at all. Okay, you see the transformation. Diba? Naging mousse. No? So, sisimutin ko tong aking chocolate. Hindi tayo naglalagay ng gelatin, ng itlog, or any stabilizer because we are using the natural 
uh, consistency of the chocolate na pag tumigas siya, siya mismo yung nagpapastabilize dun sa ating mousse. And then I have here fresh milk. The amount of fresh milk that you will put really depends on you. This is half a cup to three-fourth cup. Kung gusto mong mas malambot yung mousse mo, ibuhos mo lahat ng three-fourth cup. Kung gusto mong medyo stiff yung mousse mo, ilagay mo half a cup only. I like my mousse medyo light. So, binubuhos ko lahat ng 3 fourth cup. Okay, that's it. So, you have your easy, super easy chocolate mousse. Chef, gusto ko pong gawing peppermint chocolate mousse. Pwede ko po bang lagyan ng peppermint uh, flavoring? Sure. Ano pang flavors ang gusto mong ilagay sa iyong chocolate mousse? Pwede mong ilagay. Okay. That's it. And then, how do you uh, put it onto your container? May mga containers tayong ganito. Lagay mo sa piping ba? Pwede ko po bang ilagay yan sa gitna ng cake, chef? Pwede. Pwede ko po bang gawing icing ng cupcake yan? Pwede. Put it on a piping bag without a tip. Okay. Nako, mapurol na yung gunting ko. So, kailangan natin hasain. And then, you put... Oh, dito na lang sa nasa harap yan. Okay, put it there. Ay, chef, hindi po pantay. O, oh, teka, teka muna. Papakita ko yung technique kung paano mo mapapantay yan. Ayaw ko pong gumamit niyang plastic, chef. Ano po ang pwede kong gamitin iba? You can use yung tunay na shot glass. Pwede kang gumamit nun. Kung anong type mong gamitin. Yan. So, I'm going to continue putting this here. Paano natin yan mafa-flatten? No? So, I'm going to pahiram po muna nito. Hihiramin ko itong aking towel. Tap mo lang siyang ganyan. See? By tapping it, nakokompress na, 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 mo siya. Para ay aesthetically maganda siya. Okay? See? Kung gusto mo ipang regalo, pwede mong ilagay yan dun sa mga bottles. Okay? So, I'm going to continue transferring my mousse onto my containers and then I'm going to show you next how to assemble it. So, this is my... These are my chocolate mousse na nilagay ko na sa, sa ating container. Do we need to refrigerate it? You can. Pwede mo siyang i-refrigerate. But as it is, it is ready to eat. And it's very stable. So, kung ilalagay mo siya sa dessert buffet mo, may pa-buffet ka sa Valentine's, sa Christmas, sa birthday mo, nandyan lang siya, hindi siya basta-basta matutunaw. Basta again, wag lang on direct sunlight. And then, this is the almond brittle. O, tignan mo ha, look. Mm. ba? How nice it is. Actually, ito pwede mo nang ibote. Ilagay mo sa container. Tapos itinda mo. Masarap siya. Oh, look. Tingnan mo. Mm. 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 It's so good. You get some whipped cream. Lagay mo sa piping bag. Pipe it on top. of your chocolate mousse. Masarap talaga siya. So, kung ayaw mo ng chocolate mousse, at least ito, gumawa ka. And I promise you, talagang mag -e enjoy ang mga kakain. You dust it with some cocoa powder. 
Well, nasa sa'yo ha kung paano mo siya i-decorate. Kasi ako, I, I just like it like this. Simple. And then you put your almond brittle on top. O, di ba? Hindi ba paano kang nasa five-star hotel? Pero, you, you see how affordable it is? Serve mo yan sa Valentine's Day, o di ba? Kung wala ka ng time mag-bake, if you have a full-time work, and then you, you want to serve something really special, and yun talagang labor of your love, yun, <laughs> di ba? And then, look, and put it, oh, imagine, lalagay mo yan sa buffet, Maganda dito, wala ka masyadong likpitin. O, di ba? Actually, ito nga, o, pwede mong, ito na din ang, ay, naputol. Ito sa nagagamitin kong pang kutsara. Pwede din naman. O, see? Mmm. 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 The kick of the orange zest. It gives the most a really different experience. Ang magandang dessert kasi, hindi lang siya dapat masarap. Meron din siyang texture. Katulad nito, may crunch. May seasonal flavors. Nandun yung dark chocolate, orange, whipped cream, and then yung almonds. Yung lutong. It is the total experience. Yung sa experience na yan ng dessert, talagang lalo ka niyang mamahalin. <laughs> so, gumawa ka na. And I'll see you next time. Take care.